Hi guys, today we will make an almond flour. Easy and quick recipe. You need almond nuts, put in, in cold water for 8 hours. Now we need, I take it from freeze, a little bit uh, warm up in room temperature. And now we'll drain it. We need clean our nuts. Uh, I will put now boiling water there and then quick uh, put in the cold water, then it will be clean easy. Actually, coming there very easy to clean, but they're very hot. Be careful. Quick, quick. A little bit cool down it now, and we'll clean it. So, now hardest part of this work it's clean our nuts. But you see, it's very quick with this recipe. And now our last two pieces on it. Our last moment. So that's all our hardest work finished. Now we by small part we blend it with some oops. Add some clean water, not very warm, and start. You need to control the amount of water, it will depend how much almonds do you have. I use coffee filter. We will have two products from our almonds. It's almond milk 
very nice and thick and our walnut floor. So I'll leave it for a couple hours. I can really help our almond floor. You see, it's all milk. If you don't have time or desire, you can drain it by hand. Just to squeeze it. I didn't have so much passion to wait in too much. I was waiting 20 minutes, maybe less. Now I will drain it by hand. Plenty of the milk. Think nice, full cup. nice milk what you can use for coffee pancakes or so Now I put I have silicone mud you can put it on baking paper.
we put it in oven for half hour, 150 degree, then we made 100 degree and leave it for half hour more. You can mix them sometimes and look how it's going. Control it. Full glass, almost a full glass, nice, thick, almond milk. And now uh, our almond flour was in oven around one half hour. One hour it was on 100 degree and then I was uh, just half full to wait in too long. And I was made it uh, 150. It's a little bit burn. It's coming to be crunchy because I was left uh, um, a lot of almond milk. But it tastes very nice. Actually, it uh, will be tasting like almond flour and almond uh, dry milk. You can dry it more better, then it will be uh, like uh, more flour. And actually, you can wait in more an oven if you will have passion. I don't have. That's why now I will do it uh, flour. I need. Uh, Food processor, you can do it with coffee beans grinder or also blender, what you have. I'll do it by two portion. You see? It's always away from how to grind it and do real almond flour. You actually can grind just almond nuts and don't bother with that almond milk and so on. Now it's a very small texture, completely almond flour I love this Silicon mustard, very comfortable thing. Really. And even if it's something sticky, you can easily take it away. Now I will check how much it weighs. It's very interesting. I had around uh, 350 gram almonds.
to scale. Now I played weight 418 grams, now it's zero. Yeah. You see it, it's 183. One eighty three graph of almond flour. Uh, and it's around in twice, it's coming the less. If you will have four hundred gram almond, you will have around two hundred gram almond flour. It's nice calculation. You can actually compare this by almond flour or almond nuts. Now enjoy your almond flour and baking cookies, bread or wherever you want. Have a nice day.